Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. We're on uh, loop three right now uh, of our second official rogue run, besides the one that we did at the end of the uh, two episodes ago, I guess, where we just kind of tested it. Uh, first run didn't really work out so well. This one's going much better. Uh, we got a cool perk, Child of the Forest. So a rat wolf may come to your aid during battle for 75% chance. Now, I assume it's going to attack, but will it also defend? There it is. Yep. Oh, sick. That's massive. Okay. So we wanted to road lantern something. And I think what we'll do, I'm going to activate this. It's going to bring in a goblin camp. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, road lantern this. And if I get an oblivion, I'll still get rid of this one. Uh, but this will also help. Actually, this is great. Because if I ransack one of these villages with the vampire mansion, then uh, the road lantern will hit that as well. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. So it looks like they probably have the same chance to attack different enemies as we do. But it's not consistent as far as I can tell. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. I got another village. We're going to ransack this one. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to ransack this one. I would much rather have a vampire mansion to ransack one of these. But that's okay. We do have a blood grove as well. And uh, let's place that here so that we can grove this whole area. For the village, I mean, I could just take a quick heal off of it. I feel like we could start to ransack one, though. I'm going to put it here. Ransack this. And then we'll heal, heal, battle kind of thing. And then let's put this out here for a chrono. All right. Cool. Now, here's the thing I personally need to work on. I gotta watch for these XP hits. I always miss it, and I need to put that... And we need to put that trade in, like, immediately. Absolutely immediately. But it's so easy to miss. Is that just a double skeleton? Um, Let's go here. We'll call this Skeleton Alley. I could drop this so that uh, the skeletons don't get too unwieldy. But that's gonna take a long time. That's, like many 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 days for that to fill up yeah see they're attacking this first here oh, this is wolf wolf art no it's wolf rat makes a lot of sense look at the crits <laughs> oh my god yeah this is uh this is going much better there's our other chrono replace that top left oh double chronos okay so this is going to go here. And then I have... Uh, I guess this could go out here. I can do meadows all around this. Now, I am primarily placing these for, like, the Blooming Meadow bonus, right? But uh, you can also place these for these spawns. I've talked about that before, but um, it's not really something I'm super worried about right now. So where's our ransack? You know what? I'm going to place this up here. Maybe we'll do it like so. That'll get rid of one of these. Another thing to consider is if we do a blood grove or the uh, hungry grove. I can't remember what it was called. But if you double up the blood groves and it, they kill at the 20% threshold, we probably want to do that around our base too. Because uh, I think that'll impact bosses. Okay, so we're going to place these before we get to our camp. Uh, we already spawned in, like, in the goblin camp, so whatever. And that way our big heal here is not wasted. Uh, let's take this fight, and then I'll I'll hit adventure time. Or planning time. <laughs> adventure time. Different, game. Different, different world entirely. Man, that rat wolf, is, that's pretty cool, man. Now, these guys also have Carrion Eater. Devours a random corpse, restoring 25% of HP. I presume that's, like, corpses on their side. Oh, that's a big fatty. We're actually doing great right now. Great. Okay, let's meadow this. Let's meadow this. Uh, let's activate these with rocks. And we could do another, like... Uh, mountain addition here. 
feel like, uh, well, I can count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus nine, 17. So I could probably place more. Okay. And then we're going to heal. So we'll get up to full here. And... Uh, do we have anything? Because we're likely going to get better gear here. So do I have anything with slightly more HP? I do. I'm going to replace this so that we can maximize our healing potential. And then uh, we'll get new items anyway. I think that's the, I think that's like big brain play right there. I think it's big brain. You guys proud of me? I'm working on more big brain plays, less tiny brain plays. It's tough though. Okay, let's start with this sword. So this is not a replacement for any of these, which is a bummerville. We have a lot of uh, boots though. So what do we want to take? Um, critical damage, 47%. This would drop the critical damage chance. Do we have any critical damage chances on these? No. I like that this improves our chance, but we're only at 21. So am I going to get that from anywhere else? I have nothing else that's adding critical damage chance, unfortunately. So if I drop this, I go back to 10%. Uh, I don't love the idea of that. I don't love the idea of it. So I might actually keep these boots. A level 3 boot, I know. But I might keep it because 21 versus 10 is pretty significant. Armor-wise, though, this is a big improvement, and it's damage to all. And I imagine, actually, our damage to all could probably crit, too, right? I haven't been paying attention to that. I think that's, like, our best scenario here. Jeez. Quest done. Uh, put this in our grove area. Try to get those Beyond Meat Fiends to spawn. They're plant-based, after all. I don't know if I made that joke before, but I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, let's get rid of the Goblin Camp. See ya. Um... <laughs> I'll stack this here deal with that ransacked village. I'm going to hold on to the rest of my rocks. We'll make that game time decision before we cross. Okay, we're going to hit XP very soon here. Three meadows. Oh, that's bad. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18 so I can place one more that's 19 so now definitely the next rock I place is uh all systems online if I do another uh chrono out here then I could do these four so let's start building that boom I caught it all right, speaking of, that's excellent. This is also going to increase uh, skeleton spawn, which I guess I'm okay with. Okay, 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. Not bad. Uh, Blissful Ignorance deals you a full hand of Oblivion cards. From now on, using Oblivion cards heals the hero by 10% of its max HP. Or Marauder, fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. 10% chance to attack Simus. Eh. I think I take this. We ditch this. We get a full hand of these. Some of them will fall off. Um, but as I use them, other cards will push in and, and get rid of some. But then we can get big heals too. I think we do that. Uh, also, oh, yeah, it's too bad that you can't play a card in that screen. Because uh, I could have played a mountain, spawned a goblin, and then whatever. Is there anything I want to oblivion right now? I'll oblivion this. See ya. 
because uh, they don't drop very good loot anyways. I'm not going to obliviate Oblivion the Ransacked Village. Okay, so let's immediately do this. Spawn a Goblin. Oblivion the Goblin. Bye-bye. Uh, can I Oblivion? Oh, I could just Oblivion like rocks and stuff. It's kind of a waste here because there's nothing to do. And there's nothing I want to delete. So yeah, let's keep it going here. We're going to drop some of these off, but that's okay. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> that is, uh, you don't know what that was. Okay, so battlefields. Where do I want to place these? We can kind of put them anywhere. The thing is, uh, we don't get the drop right away anyway. So I kind of want to put them in spots where, uh, where we're not fighting as many enemies because... Uh, we won't have to worry about the ghosts as much. So I'm going to drop that over here. We have another village. Should I ransack this too is the question. How ballsy do you feel? Well, pretty ballsy. I could, I could put another village right here. And then I can wait for a vampire mansion to ransack it. Uh, we can oblivion this. Actually, I should have waited. I should have waited till that fight was over, but I'm probably leaving this fight max health anyway. Um, we do another grove here. And uh, yeah, this will keep the ransacking a little bit more, uh, a little bit easier for us. Do I have any tiles I need to activate? I do. So let's do that. Okay. Let's see. Just, should we do like a full skeleton alley here? It could get kind of scary. It's also cool. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm. I'll place this so that we heal up to full here. Close to it. Yeah, see, we just got another weapon. I'm trying to figure out what causes this. Critical damage chance, I actually wouldn't mind increasing. So I'm going to drop that Gladius and get critical damage chance up to 36. Yeah, see that damage to all does crit. What's this? Cracked Skeleton. Uh, raw Bone takes 90% less damage from Archers. Is that a, like a, is that a little peek at a potential class, maybe? Could be. I could make a decent argument to take this now and drop that 11% back down to 22 or whatever it was, but... What is giving me these items? Huh. Critical damage chance. Get rid of damage to all. Drop some of our, our health. Uh, drops our max HP quite a bit, but this puts us up to 50% crit. 47, but like. Seems awesome. Look like crits. Crits. And it looks like it's individual chances too. So it's like 50% chance to crit on each individual thing. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I'm doing it. I'm going all skellies down here. I'm going to activate this. Okay, we're about to we're about to get like okay let's big brain this again so let's go max hp which is going to be this 422 all right got a new batch of gear in here finally we're under leveled on weapons so let's replace this one uh, crit damage chance at 13. That would take us down to 20, 23. Uh, it's a pretty nice damage increase. 
Um, this looks like a nice damage increase. And, well, it is compared to this level three, but I kind of want to keep that crit chance. And maybe we optimize, like, depends what we get, obviously, but one weapon is, is focused on that crit damage chance, if possible, and another weapon is just max damage. And this magic damage, I imagine, can crit as well. Uh, here, oh, crit damage chance. Crit damage chance and crit damage. Ooh. Ooh. That's, I feel dirty even playing it. Crit damage chance drops by 1%, but we get evasion. Yes, please. Yes, daddy. I kind of think that this build is good right now. So now what I'm thinking is, okay, let's try and get to the boss. Whether or not we can beat them. This build seems good right now. If we could get there soon, that would be nice. I just need more cards to play, essentially. I just need more cards. I'm going to put this here in this grove area to kind of simmer that down a bit. Oh my god. If I get another if I could get another blood grove too, I put that up here. Well, I guess it's okay. It would impact these two tiles. But uh yeah. So we're gonna have a goblin thing spawn in right away. Do I have any non-activated meadows? This one will be, so let's place this here. We're probably one or two away from goblin spawn. We don't have any of the Beyond Meat Fiends in here yet. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, we just got one. Flesh Golem. Okay, won't die until it deals its last hit. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of scary because he does hit pretty hard. Um, but he's classified as a plant. That's what I don't get, but that's why we call him the Beyond Meat Golem. Wish it was sponsored. It's not. That was a really nice tank for him to have there. Yeah, so here he gets his last attack. Oh, wait. Oh, we evaded it. We evaded it. Nice. Okay. Uh, man, I guess my next chrono thing would be here. And then I could do this section. Do I want to ransack anything? Yeah, I think so. Because this is only going to spawn two. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to do that many loops. It really depends on cards that come in. Because when we Oblivion, we, we move back this far, I think, right? So it would be nice. Even if we're not in a prime position to beat the boss, uh, it would be quite nice to be able to see what it is. Whether it's like one enemy... We need to focus on some type, one of these certain stats. Like, evasion for the first boss is obviously the strongest. Like, there's no if, ends, or buts. Because it um, uses, like, a single attack that hits for heavy damage. We might even have a situation where there's, like, multiple enemies. That would kind of be cool, too. We have pretty much all of our corners hit, except for like up here, maybe. Man, this cracked skeleton is so annoying. He drops his damage by like 27, but 17, I should say, but still. May resurrect as a shattered skeleton, so 50% chance for those. I understand. Okay. Uh, I think this is good. I could vampire mansion just like empty slots. You guys might have heard my dog Walter there barking, saying hi. Another village? My god. Okay. Well, uh, this one's going to change right away. 
I could ransack another one. <laughs> but uh, we don't quite have the protection of the lanterns that I like. Maybe I'll just take this as a little heal. Maybe I'll put it here. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. And we'll spawn in a... Nope, I'm wrong. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, okay, the next one I think will spawn in the bandits. I'm not going to oblivion this yet. Only because we don't get the HP benefit. Nine crit. Nice. I'm 12, by the way, so okay to make those jokes. Upon dying, stuns opponent for three seconds. Dude, and like this guy's got evade and stuff too? This is. The wolf is gnarly, dude. So I'm thinking. I know it's rare, but I am doing it. Uh, it would be nice to get another trait. And then hopefully we can spawn the boss in the next loop. I think we're in a position to do that. Where should I be road lanterning? Probably here. This could get a little bit scary. Uh, this could get a little bit scary, possibly. Maybe I'll do here. And then... Doo, doo, doo. Okay. I mean, we're going to heal to full here anyway, so I'll wait. I'll leave this camp alive for a bit. I need to activate that. This next batch of weaponry is going to either make or break us here. I would like to be able to put, like, a grove here. I don't have a great spot for these. Let me just, like, space it out. I'll put it down here. Um, we're going to want to activate this. I can get mountain bonus here before we heal. We can do mountain bonuses there and there. Then we'll get our big heal here. All right. If we can keep this 53%, that would be amazing. Here's a level 9 boot. Evasion at the cost of crit damage chance, but it's a decent amount of evasion and some magic damage. Let's start with weapons. So, level 4 weapon, critical damage, defense, attack speed. Attack speed's nice. Attack speed is nice. Um, I'd be okay dropping the Qatar because it's a significant damage boost. And the attack speed kind of offsets the percent chance to trigger. Yeah, so I think we replace the Qatar. Drops our chance to 35. Crit damage. Uh, we don't want that. Another attack speed at the cost of crit damage chance, potentially. Attack speed would go to what? 16 plus 28 is 24, so 44 plus 10 percent, so like 50 percent attack speed, which is nice. Very nice. This is literally like double the HP, which we've been able to maintain, and we can likely maintain because of this. Um, I don't think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to keep my crit damage chance on the boots. And... Oh, man. that's a, The, the armor is a tough call because I don't know what the boss is like, you know? Uh, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to keep this here for now. I'll save this armor and then before we get here and spawn the boss, like, hopefully we can spawn the boss... 
Uh, then we can maybe switch to the extra armor. Or switch to the extra HP, I should say, and still have attack speed. A little bit less chance to crit. Uh, but we'll have more attacks. So, like, yeah, I think that's maybe the plan. Put this one up here, too, and we'll just play it by year. Uh, presuming that we spawn the boss and we don't get a new batch of items, we could even keep these and swap it in the boss fight, potentially. All right. I think we're good. Let's go. Another road lantern. Okay. So where are things getting scary? Probably the, skele the skeleton run down here, hey? Let's do that just to, like, chill things out a bit. God. Oh, the damage. Just, just gross. This is disgusting. I'm, we're not getting many blood groves, unfortunately. I would like to place one over here. Also, I just realized we should maybe be considering, like... Does this boss spawn in anything? He might. Like, does he spawn in, like, lich palaces and stuff? Uh, I'm gonna put another one down here. To chill out this area. Um, place this down on skeleton row. Don't have my helper. Unfortunate. Oh, there's a blood grove. Excellent. Okay, so, uh, I want a Blood Grove here, so that we get that 15% um, decrease, or that 15% thing against the boss. Uh, do I have any meadow slots that I want to put in? Yep, there. Um, I could Oblivion this now and take a big heal. Um, I could just save my Oblivion till I get here and just, like, Oblivion a bunch of stuff after we trigger the boss as well. I can activate this meadow. And, I mean, if I get another Chrono, it would go here. So let's take this. It'll be activated. Another Road Lantern. My god. Take these three. We'll activate this meadow. This is a, this has turned out to be a pretty cool run. Whether or not it works, we'll see. Don't know. Vampire Mansion. Uh, I might actually want to oblivion the Vampire Mansion here too, once we defeat this tile. Because I don't know if that if he could spawn with the boss or not. We might not actually be able to. I think we had a vampire mansion on our lich boss, and it didn't spawn one. I don't think, but the tile showed as having like that vampirism. Uh, what do I want to do with the vampire mansion? I do want to play it. I guess I'll just put it down here. I don't need to ransack anything now. I might as well keep the heals. <laughs> Just nasty. Take that heal. Bandit camp is fine. Okay. Well, I'm committing. I'm committing now. Okay, baby. Let's see. Incursion. It is time to face the destiny of this world. I see that. Radiates with powerful energy that devours space and time itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I have this perk. Time flies faster, so we get more uh, HP per day heals. Which could be good, depending on how long the boss is. After losing 20% of his max HP in battles, the hero evades all attacks for two seconds. Maybe. Or Surveyor. 0.5 times loop HP. Yeah. Axis Tilt, I think. <laughs> I 
Hey, nice. That's actually pretty helpful. 186 HP per day right now. And our days are flying faster. Look at this. We're one shot and stuff. Look at all these evades, though. Do I want to take the extra HP here? Because if I take this max HP, like this one, I'm like essentially doubling. I'm losing some of the crit chance. Um, but I can definitely have the health. You know? Mm. It's a really tough call, man. This one, we balance the attack speed. get rid of that yeah I'm gonna get rid of this just in case oh this is such a tough call Do we go a little tankier with attack speed we're trading off uh, chance and damage there but it's a pretty significant uh, HP boost like 200 Maybe we should just stick with what's been working. We don't know what the boss is, so it, it makes it very difficult to try and account for that stuff. Yeah, like I'm kind of feeling like the build that we have right now is is nice. Um, it feels really good. <laughs> feels really good. This is slightly less armor. It's less everything, but you get evasion. Yeah, that's this is interesting. We still need to place. Let's do a uh, meadow here. Uh, I have more chrono crystals. I might as well just put it there so that I activate that. And then we're going to have a fight here. I'll just oblivion it, because why not? For max health. And I think we just try to take this fight as it stands right now. I mean, yeah, I don't think we're going to get to equip any new gear. And this is, it's only really like... It's just over 100. It's 140 damage difference, roughly. So, I don't know. I think we keep what we have. It seems to be working. Guys, this is going to be the ultimate cliffhanger, I know. <laughs> but I'm going to pause here. When we come back, we're going to have the boss right at the beginning. Don't you worry. And uh, we'll see if we beat it. Or, or we'll see if we don't. I don't know. It could be a long fight, too. Hopefully, this HP per day can tick in like a bunch. And uh, we'll just rock and roll. I have nothing else to Oblivion. What else would I Oblivion here? Nothing. There's nothing I want to Oblivion. See you next time.